Salutations and greetings, this is I, Nip Kugar, and I'll be giving you all a tutorial on Craftbook today for a Genesis Minecraft server. Now, here are all the different contraptions that can be made with Craftbook. We'll first concentrate on the two that are usable in almost every world, except for vanilla, obviously, because vanilla is all poor and sad and without cool stuff. Now, it's really easy. All you have to do is get a block that's usable for bridges, which is most blocks, honestly. Uh, and then all you have to do is place a sign saying on the second line, bridge, and ta-da, it does the rest. Uh, let me quest, quit lumberjack, farmer, and miner. That way I don't get those spam messages. Now, that's really easy. All you have to do is place that. And that's pretty much what I did here. As you can see, I did second line, not bridge, bridge. Because this is not bridge, it's a bridge. And then you just right click sign, and ta-da. Holy shit, yes, it is that easy and that fucking amazing. Now you do have to have a sign on both sides, so maybe not quite that easy. It's so actually very, very difficult. You have to put the sign saying bridge on it on both both sides oh my gosh i can't believe a few players are able to handle that kind of workload but i hope that you can but this can also be activated by redstone it's super awesome and fun you want to do buttons instead screw levers do a button have the bridge reappear after a few seconds do some sort of crazy redstone contraption where you can press a button and have it like a delay have extended redstone so that the bridge stays gone for even longer i don't really know i don't really care it looks super cool. It is up for you guys to use. Next one that's available in both the Adventure Survival and the Factions world is Gates. It is pretty similar. We're just going to break this so you guys can see. Now, Gates, it's only half the workload of bridges because you only have to put the sign on one side. All you have to do is put the gate on the second line like that and ta-da. Now, you can let the slime right through if the slime wasn't so big and fat. Big, fat slime. And ta-da, just right click, and it's done. Now let's get that lever over here. And ta-da, it's a giant gate. Now as you can probably tell, these are really awesome and usable for castles. Now your castle has a wooden theme. That's completely fine. Gates can work with both iron bars and all fences. So ta-da, there you go. Now we're moving on to the different craft book features that are only available for the factions world don't worry the are worlds have plenty of cool stuff too they're more magic themed now this is an elevator it i don't even have to delete the signs it's right there lift down on the second line and right here lift up on the second line now i'm gonna try it ta-da you just right click the sign holy crap it's that easy just like everything else you just right click sign now let's say i want to go up there's no floor at my destination because if i look up right here there's no floor Let's say I put in a floor. Ta-da! I can go up all of a sudden. Yay! Now, yes, those signs have to be directly over top of each other, like this. If I have my sign going, for example, lift down, like that, it's not going to do anything. Because it has no destination. It doesn't know where the fuck it's going. Alright? So, uh, YouTube's probably going to censor me for that. Oh, well. Anywho. Yeah, so you have to make sure that the sign is right above. Lift down. Now, for every lift down sign you have, you have to have a lift up sign. Now, see? Elevator down sign created. Oh, ta-da. Now, for every lift up sign you have, you have to have lift down. So, while yes, you can have literally an infinite distance, I could go up as high as I wanted to, up to block limit. Do a lift down like so and we it will send me down to the previous sign and then that sign will send me down down here but i can't really get back up to that sign you want to know why because i don't have a sign up going up to it now if i try shift click this yes it will still teleport me so we're going to make a sign going way up there like so lift up and Ta-da, it's that easy. Now we shall fall back down. We crash. Now, one of the very much simpler features 
is jack-o'-lanterns into pumpkins or vice versa just do a redstone signal it's really that easy similar thing for netherrack is that you just create a fire and ta-da moving on to the pistons we have some very fun pistons over here first one you put bounce on the second line and then on the third line you put the number so it would be like this bounce and then 5.0 and ta-da piston bounce mechanic created make sure I always check for that text to make sure you did it right so let's oh no we have tnt let's launch into the air we kaboom we oh i got stuck in the cobweb now this is a feature of another plugin with that will be introduced in the move craft tutorial but now that the cobweb's done that, that. we cobweb a little bit of residue over there you know how spiders are Next one is the super push. Now I can push. You know how usually pistons have a very limited amount of pushing? These ones don't. And in fact, they can even push air. They can just keep going. Oh, oh no. That's not good. Well, that was not planned. Oh well. Uh, well, I guess show you now how the next piston works. It is really easy. All you have to do is put a block behind where you want to break. Yes, I did say break. You get another piston in there. Ah. Ta-da. And do break. Or no, crush. Was it crush or break? I think it is crush. Ah, it was crush. Haha. -ha. And then ta-da. It crushes the blocks that are in front of it. So we're gonna boot crush. And this is where that super push would come to handy. Because if this was a super push, for example, as easy as this, super push, ta-da, I can Oh, that's why. There we go, crush undo see push even the air ta-da some of you can definitely understand the very awesome mechanics that can come along with that all right next one are the pipes now some of you will get very excited for the pipes tutorial it is pretty simple now let's say we have some diamonds that you mined up you don't want to do boring old minecart chest no that's for losers. You want to do pipes. All I have to do is put in a chest, have a sticky piston facing the chest, have glass or stained glass going. You can even have glass panes for intersections and have a piston facing a normal chest. Then you activate the sticky piston like so. And oh, where did diamonds go? They went into here. Now we have a sticky piston. Click. You can follow the glass. End up in here. And then ta-da, and now both the minecart and the diamonds are in the last chest. Just going to take the diamonds for your next tutorial. Now let's say you have two different ones right next to each other. Make sure you use stained glass, otherwise they may end up getting intertwined and sent to different chests. You don't want them going to different chests. No, sir. So we're going to put them in this chest for the purple line. Click. You already know how it goes. It goes right through the purple line right here, and ta-da, here are our diamonds. Now we're going to stick it over here. And yes, your pipes can have bends, twists, and turns as long as there's one solid block, as I will show you. We're going to break that block. We're going to put the diamond in. Click, 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 click. Nope, does not work. Because you need to have it in there. Ta-da! It works. Pipes are super awesome and super helpful. Next, we're going to be moving on into the last set of option, or features for craft book is the minecart features first off we have what we call the eject now it doesn't look like it does anything at first but that's only for the simpleton's eye now if i get in here and activate the lever upon reaching the iron block with eject above it as it has to be exactly that it has to be an iron block with a second line as you put like so it'd be like that See, even fixes it for me because I can't spell right. Have a rail above it. Hit the minecart and ta-da. If 
I try to go the air direction, slowly, 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 ah, I still get ejected. There goes the minecart. Now, next one, we'll have you all very excited. Elevators! Super cool. Now, isn't that amazing? Now, it's very easy. You have to do nether bricks right below your rail, okay? And right below nether brick on the second line, do second line, not, you do second line, car lift down. So, you do second line, car lift, not lit. I mean, they do be lit, but not that kind of lit. Lift down, and on this one, you can probably guess, car lift up. Now, it works exactly like the player elevators that we were showing you guys earlier. And, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Moving on to the next one. Is, oh, yeah, put the minecart onto there. It went into the slime. Oh, slime got absorbed in onto the minecart. Darn it. Ah, oh well. But, if we go... Oh, don't even need a sign for this one. That's how amazing this feature is. I'm honestly kind of confused by what the feature is. Oh well, we'll figure out another time. Now, next one is speeder uppers. See, we have all three minecarts all perfectly together. There we go. You see, below one is nothing. Below one is gold ore. Below the other is gold blocks. Send them all off, and they're racing. And ta-da. The gold ore one goes further than the gold block one, and the regular one trailing far behind. La-dee-da. It's lazy. There we go. Close enough. So if we do this all again, we can have them all go at the same time. Obviously, we, we know which one's going to be going slower. Send them all off. Wait, something went wrong. I messed it up. I messed everything up. Here we go. One more time. And ta-da. Ah, it goes all the way back around. Incredible. So make sure you have Silk Touch if you want to have really fast going minecarts. Next one is a slowing feature. Put gravel underneath your rails and ta-da, it just slows down. For the gold, for a speed up, and for the gravel slowing down, you do not need signs. It simply does it by magic. Next one is a pit stop. You gotta get obsidian and underneath the obsidian, you put station. All right, make sure have the sign facing the direction you want your minecart to go. We'll show you why in a little bit. So, okay, launch off the Minecraft, and doop, it got stopped, because this obsidian has no redstone signal. But now we're going to send it off. Ta-da! Now, we're going to change where the station's facing. We're going to put right here, second line, as always. Get okay, send her off. Has no signal, and ta-da! It gets sent off that way. So make sure, again, that your sign is facing whichever direction you want your minecart to go. Now that concludes all of the fun features that our craft book has to offer. I hope you all get on the Minecraft Genesis MC server soon. Have a good day.